Hello everybody, Brad here today and welcome back to Project Hospital. I hope you are all doing okay. So in our last episode, we're building our lovely general surgery department just over here with some new rooms like the lounge. Really, really excited to see this department getting busier and busier over time. Now, we have named a janitor. I hope I'm going to pronounce your name correctly. I'm definitely not, but Jan Konitzer, you are now a janitor in general surgery. There you go, look, lovely, doing a bloody lovely job there, cleaning that floor. Right, so today we need to get in a gift shop and I'd like to start thinking about maybe getting in the emergency hospitalization, but I'm not too sure. Anyway, let's get stuck in and let's get in the gift shop. Right, we want this to be the gift shop just here because we are gonna start getting visitors coming in to our general surgery department. You know, we've got the lounge, we are gonna have people visiting their family and friends in the general surgery department. So let's get in the gift shop. It's not gonna be anything too crazy. We haven't got loads of money. So let's get a sign board. What way round? That way round. So when you enter, hopefully you see the sign board for the gift shop. And inside, let's go for a pharmacy desk in maybe a nice blue. And this is going to be pretty small. So there should be one cashier or checkout or till, however you want to call it. Okie doke. And then let's get in. So we need two t shirt stands. That's something that we need. So let's get one there. One there. And then the other things are just completely, you know, whatever you want. So let's get a flower stand. We'll get into magazines. Uh, maybe let's do that that way with magazines like that. And maybe some fresh fruit. We're getting the fresh fruit maybe there. So a really, really small. Do I, do I need a chair? I don't know if they, st I thought they stood up. Okay, we're going to let's get a chair in. Um, so yeah, really, really small, nothing special at all. Um, it's going to do the job for us guys and that's what we need we'll get that magazine rack as well we'll get a covid19 poster because you know they gotta know they gotta know guys let's get in a clock and i want the taller plant um there okay lovely so that is our shop let's see if there's a decal for that What's the icon for shop? That's like a little, it's like a gift, isn't it? Which makes sense, obviously. There it is. Um, we actually haven't got many walls. Let's get a blue one. We can put a blue one there. We can put one there. If we turn around, all these walls are not going to be painted. That's why I never turn around in the game because I just, I can't be bothered to paint all the walls. I know it's lazy. I know, guys, trust me, I know. Right, so let's get in a janitor for here because I don't think you can employ anyone at night for the gift room, no. Right, so we're going to want... Uh, do I spend... I don't want to spend the money. I don't want to spend the money trying to see the perks. I'm just going to have to kind of shoot in the dark. Let's go with Frank. He's pretty cheap. He's got a really good skill in gift shop vendoring. Let's get in Frank. Now, I really do not want him in orange scrubs because that's just... I don't like that. So janitors for the administrative department are going to wear maybe like a nice green, like a pharmacy green. Today is he wearing? Okay, well let's go back into there. So technologists, let's also get them in green. So janitors and technologists. I think that's Chad. Is that you, Chad? Mm -hmm. Yeah, they are. Look, Chad. Oh. I've put you in green. I've changed you into green. Okay, so there is our lovely little gift shop. Look at that. I'm pretty happy with that. It's very, very basic. And we could we could always get another one. You know, when our hospital expands, we actually could get another one. Um, but yeah, anyway, I'm really happy with that. Oh, is this a text coming through? Okay, so let's give this a read. Hi, Brad. We are very pleased with your progress in accelerating healthcare in Gold Valley with the opening of your brand new hospital. Oh, thank you, thank you. We'd like you to start planning your emergency department for trauma patients and are prepared to award you a £20,000 grant dollar, sorry, for this development. 
Best wishes, John Smith, Gold Valley Health Minister. Ah, I thought our bank balance was looking a little bit healthier. Oh, okay. I thought it was looking a bit healthier. Okay, awesome. So, well, let's just get stuck in and let's get in the emergency department. A side note, if you would like to be named as the health minister for Gold Valley, please comment down below and the first comment will be named as the health minister. I think John Smith needs to retire. Right, so emergency. We are going to have to think about this one because we've got our ambulance base. This is where our ambulance will come in to the hospital. Now, can I, I know I can add a parking lot. Ah, yeah, ambulance unloading. So we could move that down, but I think we would have, how many other labs? Is it just one more lab, just a histology? It is just one more. So we could use this space here, couldn't we? And we've got radiology there. We could always move that. If ra if radiology needed to expand, we could move the ambulance parking as well, couldn't we? Okay, so... I'm just thinking, do we move that down or is that actually just in the perfect place? I think that's just in the perfect place, isn't it? Because if we get this... So how big is that? That's seven. Okay, well if we make that eight, then we can get the nice door on that. Then you come in, you might have a little toilet and a cleaning closet. Then you could come into the trauma center. A bit like our last hospital really, like I quite liked our last hospital. Or do we do it so that you come into here, you actually come into the trauma center, which is like there, like in the middle, and then the on-call room and stuff is up here. Uh, this is where you just have to build it, don't you? You actually do just have to build it. So I do like what we've done last time, like the red front wall. So let's do that with the sliding double door. That's in the middle just there. And we can get, just make sure that's all glass. But it's still red at the top. Yeah, that's what I like. Lovely jubbly. Right, and then that's just going to carry on being brick. So then we could have, here we could have like a really small toilet. Um, and then that might be in like a cleaning closet next to it. A bit like that. Then you come in, because we want it to be really easy to get to the trauma centre, don't we? So maybe the trauma centre, like our last hospital, is just as soon as you get into here. Like just there. Um, and then we have the on-call room and nurses stations down here. Well, let's let's think about this. Let's, let's just get out the white, I don't know what's the cheapest. Oh, the white wall. Oh, it's the same price, okay. So if we just get all this out, and we'll just do it all in white wall. Right, so that's going to be our trauma centre right there. So let's do that. I'll see at the minute we've got $38,000. And we're going to have to join this up as well with a corridor at some point. So we basically haven't got very much money. So if we would... Oh, what, I never remember what way these go. Ever. So that's already looking quite narrow unless we go oh, this is it gets really bloody tricky this bit so let's go out a tad bit more then because when this hospital starts getting busy this is going to get really really chocker in here all right so let's do that and we're going to get out two stations to start off with so let's get out one in the first instance and we'll just plan this out right so anesthesia workstation we also need by this. Do you need an OP digital imaging, do you? Oh, well, I don't remember that. Okay, so you'd have that, and then that's in the um, just in the department as a whole. You want your medical lights. Okay, so the actual bays aren't very big, are they? So if you had something like that. That could be one bay, which could work. 
So, because then we could easily get one of them behind, couldn't we? Yeah. So you could easily get another one behind with plenty of room. And then you could get like a little corridor going into there. Or what I probably prefer to do, oh, I probably should have done that. Can I just move that to there? Then what we can do is we'll just get rid of that wall and that one. And then that can go there. Because I want them to be fairly large. I don't, the trauma, the really small pokey trauma centers don't look very good, do they? So we could get that in. And obviously that will that wall will be there. Oh no, I actually want to build a wall, please. Thank you, thank you. So let's get rid of that wall. And then you'd probably have one for this one here. Like that. That is quite large actually, isn't it? Um Okay, we'll just, let's just move it down. And then that is, that is quite big so let's do that there we go that's perfect and then we want the wall where is that there yeah okay perfect and that's quite a nice big room as well then so you can really start to fill that in as soon as we get busier and busier but one for the moment is going to be absolutely plenty okay so that's perfect and then we could think about our ward so our observation unit because um, we want this room to be able to grow so it can go out this way quite easily can't it which is perfect so what about if we've got in the door so the door for that goes in there we have the toilet a little a little toilet a cleaning closet we're gonna need a common room over here at some point so we could maybe get a common room like in here Let's just get out of space, not very big, but that. And then that could be a common room. Then we could have, if we build this, right, where's the observation gonna go? Where's the observation unit gonna go? Because you also need the on-call room and nurse's station, don't we? So if that's gonna be a common room, then we could get in an observation unit could go in. I mean, how how big is the pre uh, observation room? Which hasn't got many beds. So basically it would fit in there perfectly, but obviously we still got to get on core room and nurse stations in yet. Okay. So what we could do is if we, what are the prefabs like for nurse station and on call room? So we could get in the nurse station. We could get that like right next to there. And that's a really easy route for them to get straight into the emergency department, isn't it? So it's, it would be quite expensive. We'll, we will go ahead and we'll delete. We can get loans and everything, can't we? So I'm not too bothered about the money at the minute. Right, because so, that's going to need to be foundations. Like that. Okay. And then if we had the on-call room, the smaller one. Like there. Oh yeah, that's nice. I like that. And then... What we'll do is let's get in the observation room, the prefab one, I think, and then we can, we'll adjust it um, so it all looks correct. So then we could get in, get that in there, and then we'll shorten that down. Right, so let's get a loan. Lovely. Right, so then that's gonna be brick. So there. We're going to have a door to the staff room, which actually might as well just go like that and have a little bit more space. And then we'll also get a door in there. So we could get a door to the staff room, 
um, cleaning closet. Actually, I don't know why I done that as a blue glass door. That needs to be a red glass door. And then that could be that one. Then we have a door to our little restroom. Okay, perfect, perfect. So we need to do foundations here in the middle. And then that bit there. Okay, I like this, I like this. Now I really like this bit at the top, but it's just a bit too big. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna make it a little bit smaller. So let's give it loads, right, let's spring that forward one. Cause I actually like this little room at the back. It's, it looks really, really cool, I really like it. So let's get rid of that wall just there. What have you got here? And you've got yellow on top. So it's gonna be that one, I believe. No, not there, there. No, I've done the wrong, the wrong one, the wrong one. So what, what the bloody hell is that? Where have they managed to get that wall from? Am I just being blind? I was being blind. Oh, I don't, I honestly don't know. I must be going blind. Okay, let's just get that in as we're gonna spend all day doing that. Right, okay, and then this is going to need to be a corridor. So let's get a listen. Like that. I really like this department. We've got, we have got a bit of space down here. So what we could do is the emergency department could be like that. And obviously, you know, that is just other stuff within the hospital. So let's make sure that is all the corridor as well. And then obviously this over time will um, evolve into being actual rooms. It's just at the moment. It's always a bit of a strange time at the start of the game because you have lots of space, which just looks a bit strange. Right, and then corridor, let's go for red. We'll go for this one, I quite like this one. So that's all of those walls. Our flooring, we'll go with the red line. So let's get that in. Perfect. Okay, and then we'll fill in the middle. Lovely, lovely. Right, now our common room can have the wood panelling. Um, same as that little corridor. Our cleaning closet can have some red tiles at the bottom and our restroom can have some white tiles at the bottom. And then that's going to need to be that one. Okay. Our trauma center. Oh, he's got life. Ah, he's got life monitors. Look. I don't think they do, do they? I don't think these needed life monitors. What are you missing? Audio meter. Oh, yeah, because that's been turned around. So let's do that. And then the bin can go to there. Okay, lovely. And let's get a whiteboard. I, lo I love a whiteboard. All the patient names. Okay, I love. I really like the observation room. It looks really nice. Okay, and then our trauma center can have maybe the red stripes, bottom and top. This room's going to look very bare at the minute because we haven't, you know, we just haven't got the money to get in loads of bays. So it's going to look very, very bare. So let's get in the absolute bare necessities. So defibrillator. We'll get in the mobile workstation. Actually, let's get that in the room. Because it looks better when all the stuff's actually in the, uh, the actual trauma bay, doesn't it? Then we need some kind of bin and then some kind of sink. So let's get in that. And we are going to need a fast USG. Okay, lovely. And then again, for the moment, I think we'll just get that in. Oh, I've got no money again. We're going to need old John Smith to be very, very generous, aren't we? We're hemorrhaging money. We are already hemorrhaging money. Okay, right, so all we need to do is the staff room, cleaning closet and toilet, so not very much left. Right, our little restroom. How big? Do we want this looks like it's just gonna be a one a one toilet doesn't it oh actually I know look if we get in um, 
um, if we get in, if we get in two stools, then we should be able to fit quite a lot in here, even though it's a very small space. So two toilets, we'll get the WC doors, two toilets, then we can get in, we could get in one, let's get in one sink, one hand dryer. And down there we can get like a little plastic hamper. That's quite a nice little room actually. And then let's get like an escape plan or something, just so you can know, you know your way out if you have to run. Right, this is a tiny cleaning closet. Like I actually think that's actually just not big enough. So let's go out this way. We'll delete that wall just there. There we go, and then that's perfect. Then right, so that's gonna be a clean closet. That needs to be a corridor, and then this is gonna be a common room. Cool, so let's get in the standard, a couple of shelves, a couple of bucket carts, we'll get in a sink, plastic camper, and over here we'll get in a nice cabinet. Lovely, okay, and in the common room, might be half of a cafeteria. So let's kind of say, I could copy that room, couldn't I? How big is this room? Um, one too big. Well, let's get that in. I don't mind it being uh, one size bigger. We'll get rid of those walls because I think we'll just we'll have something similar but maybe not the full length glass yeah that's all lovely maybe we'll get in those make it quite light okay that's nice missing equipment oh yeah so that's just um, that needs to go there Okay, perfect. And that's our common room. I'm very happy with that. Let's get back in with the wood panelling. Oh, look at that little department. I like that. Obviously, the trauma bay does look pretty crap at the minute. Right, now we're going to have to think of a way for people to get into here. So let's... I mean, this medical lab is going to have to be expanded at some point, most definitely. Let's get rid of these windows. And what we will do, what's wrong with that? Okay, I don't know what's wrong with the oxygen tank. Magazines can go down, that bench will go down there, and that can go in there. Then I think we'll simply get in a double door there, and we'd probably also get one in there. because so you don't want to have all the traffic going through this area in the medical labs. So, let's get out some signs so we're going to want signs for what would we have would we have the trauma center i always forget the um little icons yeah i think that makes sense doesn't it like the little siren if they have one which i don't think they do unless i'm being blind again which is probably quite likely oh there it is i got it so let's get one in there and we'll get one there as well and we will get one either side of that door that's going to need a cleaning closet that's going to need a common room then we have a restroom we have a regular ward but that's more of an observation unit isn't it which is that one lovely then we need on call room and a nurse's station, which is that one. Perfect. So, in our corridors, let's get out a couple of stretchers. Let's get out a couple of seats with a little table in the middle. Cordless phone, that looks cool, doesn't it? Magazines, get like a wet floor sign. Um, let's get some plants out lovely sign waiting room get out of that. I know no one will actually wait there but get out a couple of bins just to make it all feel a little bit more homely um, Wi-Fi router that always looks pretty cool 
Right, posters. Let's get out one for the liver, tennis elbow, veins, heart, digestion. How does that look now? That looks so much better already, doesn't it? Perfect. Okay, well, that's our emergency department. Perfect. All right, staff. So let's get some janitors. So let's spend. We're going to spend the money with you because we can get in Mary. Um, you're slow. Margaret's pretty good. We'll get. Yeah, I think two's plenty for the moment. We need to delete these rooms. Oh, no, I don't need to do that, did I? So that needs to be a common room. But then obviously that one's always going to be um, in the administrative department. OK, right. So that's the janitors done. Now to think about nurses and doctors. So again, I think we're just going to go through like the bare minimum for the moment. So maybe we'll go for Joseph in the day. And at night we can go for Susan. So that's two nurses, one in a day or one at night. Um, let's get in two nurses. So then we'll go for Linda and... Linda and Kate. I just got dirty feet. That Kate. So that's two nurses in the day, two nurses at night. Doctors, I think we'll do. Let's get in Susan, Rachel. Um, I think I think two doctors is enough. One in the day, one at night. So there we go. Look, our emergency department is up and running. Now, I believe we had someone who wanted to be named within the hospitalisation department. Let me have a look at my special little book. Yes, we had Tactical Templar. You wanted to be an ER doctor. So, who have we got in here? You can be um, this one. You can be Susan. Let me know if you ever want to actually change the person. Like if I'm getting the, if I'm getting your sex wrong or whatever, please just feel free. Or if you don't care, then, uh, you know, don't care. So there we go. There's Tactical Templar. And also, Finn, you wanted to be... Um, sorry, is it, I, my writing's pretty bad. I don't know if it's Finn or Fim. But you wanted to be a shop vendor. I'll put in Finn. But if it is Fim with an M for mother, then please do just let me know. It's my poor writing, guys. I've got doctor's handwriting. Right, Okay. There we go. There is our lovely general sur general surgery department hospitalisation for emergency. Oh, Christopher Smith. No clear diagnosis. Let's go and have a look at Christopher then. So really, he needs the histology lab to do like a urine test or USG. Now we haven't got a lot of money. I'm sorry, Chris, but we have not got a lot of money. What we could do is let's move you is we could get in the sonography unit in this room here so how what do we need for the bare minimum for this to work it, yeah i think it's quite an expensive room if i remember correctly because that's pretty expensive that's expensive right let's go with these prefab rooms which we've done over in emergency because they let's go to view I'll make you favourite so I can go back to you in a sec. Because these will have items that we can just get rid of. So I'll get rid of that bookcase, get rid of that, get rid of that. And we'll just empty these rooms out a tad. Get rid of that. And get rid of that. Ah, we are going to need something in there now though, aren't we? So what's the cheapest? 399, 399. Let's get in the medicine cabinet. We'll get rid of one of those scrubs. Yeah, okay, I think that's better. Perfect. And then, I mean, that is pretty much it. Did we ever... Let me get out a couple of things there. Turn that around, maybe. Um... Okay, so we've earned a bit more money. Not a lot, not a lot. Right, let, I think we are gonna have to get this in. So let's just try and get it in. Right, so exam table. I think it is quite a large room. 
so let's try so let's move you there elastograph examination light then we need an a, we actually need a desk wow okay um, so let's get in the desk over there with a PC still was 49 which has 59 so there's literally no difference really okay let's get in um, how much is the sink oh the sinks really cheap bin that the red one's the cheapest then we need like a paper holder then we need shock wave therapy so that might need to move over to there this is quite a small room actually so shock wave therapy then we need some kind of equipment and the usg okay so we, we have done it so an equipment again it doesn't really matter we are going to go into minus uh, so let's get in that one okay so then our doctor well our technician sorry in here let's go for i mean as cheap as possible would be nice let's go for jennifer she's got dirty feet but I trust that our janitors will look after that. Let's hire one more janitor to compensate for her dirty feet. Right, what we could do is delete a bay of high dependency. Um, that would, yeah, I mean, that, that's got us back up out of debt. So, right, Christopher Smith, let's unpause time. You can get your USG done. And I tell you now, if that USG doesn't show exactly what's wrong with you, I'm going to be absolutely livid. Absolutely bloody livid. There we go. So he's got a calculus of the ureter. Okay, so he needs some shockwave life, lithotrispy. So he can get that done. Let's give him all those meds as well. He's probably going to be in quite a bit of pain there. Okay, yep, yeah, lovely. We've done that for you, Chris. So you can go away now. Okay, perfect. So... Um, sorry again guys this episode was kind of predominantly um, building um, but what we'll do is we'll try and spend some time in our next episode no you can go away now Chris we'll try and spend some time in our next episode really trying to go around and we'll try and treat some patients and I wonder if anyone's coming to visit you look like a visitor no you're not let's spend a little bit so let's just fast forward a little bit is anyone coming to the gift shop no, are you a visitor? No, okay. Well, hopefully we'll also get some people coming in um, to visit because we've got one person here. We've got James Thomas. Uh, why can't you have a USG? Oh, it's actually going to be done soon. Okay, cool. And um, yeah, we'll spend some time to go around and trying to treat some people. So I really hope you enjoyed the episode today, guys. Please take care of yourselves and I'll see you shortly in our next episode. Have a great day and I'll see you later. Thank you very much for watching the video guys, I really hope you enjoyed it. Please consider giving it a like and subscribing to the channel down below if you haven't done so already. And please feel free to follow me on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. Have a great day, see you later.